So now what I'm gonna do is I'll piece in how we cover the VFD and how this is set up to support this system. Okay guys, you can see here, we've got the VFD set up, got the spindle set up, and this is just a test configuration. I'm not using anything out of the ordinary. I'm just testing everything. I got the silicone mat here for the spindle. VFD is set up. This VFD has a full wiring diagram for the DB9 connector with mounting bracket that I've integrated. Now I'm gonna show you how clean this can be done, okay? This allows the client to wire this in seconds. Watch this, look closely. Pop this, that's the way this should be done. We have thumb screws, or excuse me, thumb nuts right here for quick mounting, metal bracket, DB9 connector, here's your jumpers, <clears throat> and everything is connected. White lead DCM, uh, we've got a reverse lead for blue, forward is black lead, ACM is orange lead, 10 volts is purple lead, and VI is brown lead. Now, if the, if the uh, client has any questions as to what is what, everything is allocated here in color configuration. So it's very simple to hook up and very simple to work with. Now, you can also see I've got the jumper set to the left side, which allows us to manipulate uh, the actual spindle speed through Mach 3. This is a must. If you're working with this unit, the stock setting of this uh, jumper will be on the right side. You want to be on VI. Let's see if I can just pan it up. You can see VI right there. So that's a must. <clears throat> okay.